is a best-selling author and an education contributor on CNN, and he's joining us today to talk about uh, education and his newest book and find out a couple of other things to his views on a couple of questions I want to ask him. Please welcome to the show my friend, Dr. Steve Perry. Welcome. 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's up with you, man? Chilling, man. Glad to be here in ATL. Y'all mm. turned the heat on. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, you, because yeah, yeah, it was yeah, 40 degrees yeah, in Connecticut when I left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's absurd. I have nothing to do with Connecticut. <laughs> I, I reckon that. Hey, uh, you got a school up there, man, and it's called Capital Prep. Yep. Now, it's located in Hartford, Connecticut, and since 2004, you have sent 100% of the graduates to college. How? Wow. wow. That's big. How? That's, that's yeah. Perry. That's, that's big. Because, awesome. because the kid, 100% of the kids in my house are going to go to four-year colleges, mm -hmm. and I treat these children as I would my own. Mm -hmm. uh, too often, educators get out there, and they treat kids like they're other people's kids, so they call them students. They don't call them their kids. They don't treat them like that, and they don't love them. Ultimately, mm -hmm. we designed a school that's there to send children to college. So if we don't send kids to college, then we're failures, and I'm not cool with being failure. That's not my color. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Right now. <laughs> I, okay, man. Now, okay, you treat the kids at the, at this school like they're your kids. You let them know that you love them. Yes. The the tough love, the good love, the sweet love, all that. It's the only kind of love that there is. If you ever been in love, you know it's all tough. Yeah. And, and making it through that every day is what it is, and it's what I've seen with you. I have so much respect for what you do, brother, and I mm -hmm. and I really mean this sincerely. When I went down to the ranch in in Texas, uh -huh. it was two three hundred degrees. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, minimum. That's, that's, that's what minimum. we do out there. Yeah. I just saw everything dying. Yeah. yeah. Just anything that walked is dead. Yeah. yeah. Just throw water on it, give it another shot. Yeah. But every single young man there knew that he was going to be engulfed in love. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you get it done. And when I'm with the children, I need them to understand that I love them enough to hurt them if necessary. I don't always mm -hmm. like them. You understand? Mm -hmm. I love right. all my students, but it's not always easy to like them because they're teenagers, and teenagers are insane human beings. True. So right. Especially teenage girls, they lose their entire uh, mind. Yeah. They could be some yeah. of the meanest human beings you've ever yeah. met. Uh, yeah, uh. you're right. And 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 <sighs> and middle school boys, they they're probably the laziest human beings you're gonna ever yes. meet. Yes. Yeah. I got I mean, one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you you yeah. gotta ask them. Did you wash today? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. And, and and then they look. And they'll think about it. Yeah. Maybe I did. Upstairs. Upstairs. And, let's get it and, then, and then what do you got to say? With soap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is what you know when you when you yeah. enter yeah. into this environment. You understand that you're working with young people who need you to direct them. And that's what they want. They don't want a friend. You know, they don't want you to learn mm -hmm. the words to their songs. They Because they, why, why do you know the words to my song? Yeah, that man. That's right. It's yeah. embarrassing that's to them. That's not cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, you're not that's cool. You know, if, if you right. have on a. A, a throwback jersey and you saw the guy play right. it's not a throwback it's just an old shirt brother <laughs> and, 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 if and, you uh, wear a throwback and you saw the guy dr play. J, you saw dr right J. you the, it went down there that ain't a throwback dog <laughs> right it, they don't want they don't want to see you like that and so what i give the children is distance because in the distance, there's a comfort. And they understand every single oh. morning when we out there greeting the children, mm -hmm. it's good morning, good morning, mm -hmm. shake every young man's hand, let him know that when he comes through, that this is a new day. Whatever happened yesterday is gone. That's right. mm -hmm. And it's not always easy because sometimes we spend a lot of time blaming parents for what happens with children. And, and, and parents definitely play a role. However, I know that magic happens every single day in that building, every single day because we have to look into the eyes of these young people and find something that may not exist and get them to believe beyond yes. where they mm -hmm. are. Every single day we make magic happen. And I feel humbled to be a part of that. I have an amazing team of educators. I'm just one member on an amazing team. Right, right, right. And, and everything that we do, everything that we do has to be vetted through the process of, is it good for kids?